the 200 million in the venture capital fund, which is what we call committed capital. All this here in the table is information given to us through the problem and lifetime fees equals committed capital plus these management fees. We get 200 times 0.2125, we equal to a 42.5, which is the total lifetime fees. Investment capital equals 200 minus 42.5, and the answer is 157.5. Um, we have a billion dollar venture capital fund, um, and we are going to do a hybrid with the fees paid. We're going to do committed capital in the first five years and net invested capital. So we have to use these equations here, 1 billion times 0.02, which is the 2% and management fee times five years. So that's 100 million in the first five years or 0.1 billion. The net invested capital, we have to use the invested capital minus the cost basis of realizing written off investments. So eventually we will add these all up. Lifetime fees is um, all of these management fees added together, 0.17 and the investment capital is 1 billion minus 0.17, which is 0.83 billion or 830 million. All right, 2.3, we're looking at different structures here for our 250 million fund. Um, committed capital is 250. When we're doing the structure one, we're um, basing it off of the committed capital. So we're going to use X percent times Z, which is the exit proceeds, minus 250, the committed capital. Structure two, we're using the investment capital. Two is Y percent times Z minus 200. 3.1, this is the information given to us by the book here. And 3-10, what we find out is the IRR was negative in the second year, but then it goes up. And so that's what we would call a J curve or a hockey stick.